Good morning, YouTube. We are going to make donuts this morning for breakfast. We just got back from Tucson. It was an amazing trip. And um, my daughter wants bacon and donuts for breakfast. So that's what we will attempt to do. Daddy just finished making the bacon. Lovely bacon right here. And I'm gonna flip this around. And this is kind of what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use an electric mix mixer. And I'm gonna use a little bit of whipping cream as part of the chunk in it, which is what I do for pancakes. I'm gonna use for flour, I'm gonna use whey protein and rind flour. Now you can simplify this if you don't have some of these ingredients. This is powdered stevia leaf and this is vanilla. And I'm gonna use this baby cakes to make, you can make donut holes, you can make cupcakes, and you can make um, donuts. And this is it right here. This is the baby cakes maker, which we got in the mail right before we left. So I'm really excited to try it out. And it has donut hole ones. And then, sorry, I'm just gonna show this off because they just look so fun. I'm really excited right now. And then this one, so it's like muffins. So I think I'm gonna make chocolate muffins. I'm gonna do all of three of them right now. Donut holes, since I'm making a batter, might as well just go all out. So that's the plan for this morning. And they're zero carb donuts, which I know sounds crazy. Um, but yeah, the rind flour is pretty much zero. The whey protein is zero. The whipping cream is zero. Now, I could probably buy a healthier whipping cream, like an organic one from Costco, but I don't always have time to go to Costco, so I just buy what's at my local store. Um, and then eggs. We're going to do, it's kind of, I made this recipe, It it's like a combination of like the bread recipe that I have and some other stuff that I just thought would taste good, and we tried it one time and it was amazing. Um, but at that time, I had to bake it and then fry it and so this I feel like I'm just gonna be able to just put it in there and hopefully in one step it'll just come out amazing but if you don't have one you can just bake it and um, fry it so let's see okay guys we're gonna mix these up okay. most keto carnivore recipes are gonna um, separate our eggs so yeah I'm just gonna fluff these up really quick. Um, I guess there's a way you don't wanna overdo them and you don't wanna underdo them. So we're gonna try and do that. This is what gives the fluff in the recipe and the structure. Okay. Harold's trying to help me here. Um, so we just did the egg whites and um, the egg yolks are separated. And now I have the heavy whipping cream that's gonna go right here. And um, let's just get that started. It's a small bowl, so I'm gonna start off a little bit slower so I don't make a mess. But um, I'm gonna whip this up so it's nice and cakey. And I mean, a lot of people are asked about like fat content when they're on keto or on carnivore. Um, and two things. One is that your brain prefers fat than glucose. Because I was like, man, we need all this glucose. Like, is this bad? You know what I mean? That we're not having tons of carbs or glucose. And um, yeah, I guess your brain is happier running on that energy. And then the other thing too is um, if you're it just depends on whether you're trying to lose weight or not. So then that kind of maybe would decide how much fat you're wanting to intake. So obviously less fat is going to help you to clear your body more, more often. But if you're at a state where you're fine, then and you do, you're do you going to want a little, at least a little bit of fat no matter what. Because that makes you feel satiated and full and just makes you happier. So um, don't be super afraid of it, you know. Okay, this won't take too long. 
don't know about you guys, but I find when I do it in the blender, it takes like two seconds to make whipped cream. But it's like you want to be able to watch it and see it get to the exact place you want. You don't want it to go past and make buttermilk, because that can happen really quickly in a blender. So... I do love this little thing. It was 40 bucks on Amazon. It, um, I've had it for years. And um, it's great because all you have to do is clean the, the whisks. It's getting thicker. So these, this is great. You can make extra and have it with your donuts. It's usually what I do, but I just want to get the show on the road and, and, and make the donuts and, and see how good they taste. No, Harold. <laughs> so here it is. It's getting more cakey. this one. Now this has been sitting here and you can see it's probably going to go down to the bottom a little bit. I see a little bit of egg whites on the bottom. Okay, so I just added three droppers of this. A little bit of this powder on top. I'm going to add one egg because I believe that's what I did last time, a full egg. And then maybe even two last time. I'm trying to remember this recipe off the top of my head. Um, and I'm gonna mix the whipped cream into this and let's see how that goes. I'm just gonna refluff this really quick. Now that I'm, and I'm gonna put some salt. Now that I'm remixing stuff in, it's gonna look more liquidy. Which is almost bad, but I don't know. Okay. Okay, there's the whipped cream. It's going in. So that's the thing, you want to look for the consistency that you want, like especially when I make pancakes, I want the consistency that I want. I do whipped cream, two eggs, and a little bit of flour. Sometimes I don't put any flour because look at this batter, it's like the right consistency and that's what you want when it goes on the pan. So all this fat, like my son can eat that, maybe not me as much. Um, and actually, I could probably, instead of doing that, I could just add a little bit of egg yolk from this instead of cracking a whole nother egg. Start off with one. So they use fat as, um, as a way to treat type 1 diabetics in Austria by Hungary. So he can benefit from the fat because he's skinny enough for sure. So, there we go. I think that's it for now. So now it's just the flour. Okay, so I just added salt and a little bit of rind flour, which is where the magic happens. If you don't like rind flour, you can find a substitute, especially if you don't need to be on a strict diet. This is just kind of something that we do because closer to zero we are, the better it is, the less the insulin gets pumped into your blood and the more likely you're, you're able to burn fat. Um, and then that's the whey protein, so let's do this. It's kind of pretty, it looks a little bit like brown sugar, but it gives it that thicker breading taste. I don't like using almond flour. It's very coarse and very dry. This kind of gets soggy and it tastes good. I don't know. So I think this is about what it looks like. I might have put more rind flour in it last time. So I'm going to give it a little taste test. Mmm. That's pretty good. It tastes pretty battery. Ugh. 
Mm. You want it, Hero? You want it? Mm? Okay, you want some? Some for Hero. Mm. Mm. Okay. Alright. I think I'm going to try that first. I guess Hero likes it because I went to go turn it on and. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. So we're just waiting for the light to turn green. And um, I've got these leftover egg yolks, like four of them. I ended up putting one extra into here. And I ended up putting a tiny bit more rind flour, like maybe like a half a scoop, like a tablespoon more um, than what you saw. And then, um, what was I going to say? I forgot. So I have these leftover egg yolks and um, this would be for the ice cream. So it's basically egg yolks and whipping cream makes ice cream if you put it in the freezer and then whatever flavor, obviously some sweetness and whatever flavor you want to add and that makes ice cream, which I probably will do with the rest of this. I'll just <clears throat> whip up some whipped cream with the egg yolks and um, they'll have like one tub of ice cream in the freezer. and. Um, yeah, I, in the video that I did before, I used my kids to help me make it, and um, they put the eggs in, like, completely whole. So that's what made the ice cream messed up. Um, it still was fine, but it's it wasn't, like, a cakey consistency that it should have been. Um, you can watch that video if you want, but um, super, super simple and easy, so I'm probably going to do that today as well. Since we're waiting for the plug to go on put in the wrong plug on my little baby cake so I thought it was heating up and it wasn't just a little distracted trying to do both at once which is fine it's just to get the main gist um, so yeah I'm gonna make this into cake so we're making ice cream real quick while we wait just to show you how dang easy this is I'm going to use a little bit of vanilla, salt, and I have some chocolate stevia, which I'll show you. Okay, so we're going to put the okay. so we're gonna put the batter in here. Thank you, lovey. And we're going to use oil. Okay. This is just an old water bottle and a spray top. And then, hopefully this will make the donuts, as they say. I'm not going to do it the nicest, just throw it in there. It's going to need extra, so hopefully it will do what we want to do. Let's see how this comes out. And then squish it down. Hopefully it works. Or Jesus, make them good. <laughs> and then we're going to finish our... Ice cream really quick. Mixing it up. Sorry, got you. Add a little bit of vanilla cream. I'm gonna put one dropper, just one, a little bit of salt. And then one last thing. Thank you, Lovey. <laughs> that is being followed. So precisely. Just kidding. I'm just a stalker, don't worry about me. <laughs> well, we've got jokes for days. This is the chocolate one. So this will make us some chocolate ice so cream. That's about how many drops it should look like. Mm-hmm. Okay. Both of them. One last ingredient. And okay. we're done. Uh, alkaline chocolate. Just finally got my hands on some more. So thank you, Jesus. It's going to taste good because of that. Where did I put my spoon? Just use a fork. So we're going to put like one, two. Just because just of the size of this, I'm just going to do it simple. Okay. 
and then we're done. You gotta start off slow or it's all gonna fly out. What kind of consistency are we going for? Chunky-ish. The chunkier the better in a way, but um, I don't know. That's this is not bad. This is this is good. You just you just don't want it runny, which my last video it was runny. <laughs> but this will be this will be great. This is just perfect okay. freezer, and then the so see that it's more chunky. Okay. That's what you want. And then that's done. I'm just gonna store it right now. So now we put it in another uh, container? Yes. Containers on containers. That's my thing. <laughs> See this container inside of a container? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so where'd you get these containers at? Daiso. And how much were they? They were actually three dollars. I think I So you can just use like any container that you think is good, but this one's good. Yes. Good quality, piece of price container. I like this. I don't yeah. have to saran wrap it or do anything crazy. Okay, that's what's good about it is you don't have to use any extra coverings, right? Yes. Okay. It's super simple. And so, I'm just going to... I probably should have put the last of this egg in there since I hate wasting. Of course. So, and I don't have a dog to eat it. Just kidding. I did. Past tense. Okay. Okay. And then I'm just gonna throw it in there. Okay. And then put it in the freezer, and we're done with our ice cream. This should fill up this bowl. Okay. Pretty much. This is like real life cooking. We got kids in the background. <laughs> we're doing two or three things at one time. He's holding the baby. I'm videoing. holding the baby. <laughs> this is real life, motherly, not done with professional cameras and crews. <laughs> this is actual real life cooking. The mess is now, still is on gonna, the floor. Is, is this going to expand or is that about the size it's going to be? This is going to be the size. I would have normally done a bigger bowl. Okay. And I would make like three of these, but I just, we had four eggs left over and I was like, I'm just going to make. Okay. But I so mean, I, how many what? people do you think that this size, even though it's a smaller bowl, how many people is that going to serve, do you think? Well, it depends. Like, two if you're adults, probably. Okay, but I mean, is it like a really filling ice cream, or is it just like, do you, can you eat a lot of it, or when you eat a little bit of it, do you feel kind of full? Um, good question. I think that it's just like normal ice cream, probably. Okay. Probably the same. So, like, an adult would probably want to eat about half of that okay. normally. And so a if kid this was might full, want to eat, like, that much. If this was full, you could probably feed it uh, about six people. Probably four. Yeah, maybe six. If It, it just four depends on... Four to six on, people? Yeah, if it's okay. kids. And so, then when you finish it, do you want to add any, like, whipped cream or any kind of toppings onto it? Or you can. does that matter? Yeah. Um, sorry, I'm tasting it. It's really nice and dark chocolatey. Okay. So that's from the alkali chocolate. It helps with that. Okay. Now, if I don't have alkali chocolate, what do I want to use instead of that? Um. Or is that the only one? That's the best one. That's the best one to yeah. keep it within. I mean, you can use regular cocoa. Like, okay. that's, I think my last video I used regular cocoa. But this is for the healthy part, right? Um, both of them don't have very high carbs. Okay. It's just that this one is, um, tastes less bitter. Alkali okay. chocolate has a less bitter taste, so you can add more, and it tastes darker. Okay. So if you want a deeper taste, kind of. And it tastes really good, by the way. But anyway, okay. so I'm going to so put this now. in the, I could add, I could make more whipped cream and mix it one more time and make it, like, fuller. Okay. So I might do that just because I have a small bowl. Like, I just did it quickly. You know, I did it in, what, two to five minutes? So can I so, make, um, can I make, like, a Neapolitan? Like, can I do layers? Like, can I make a chocolate bottom and mm -hmm. then, like, a strawberry center and lay that on top and yes. then do, like, a vanilla top and make a Neapolitan and then freeze it and it'll come out the same? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, That's kind of cool. Be, yeah, it would be bomb. Like, you could... So how long do I want to freeze it for? So if, this is chocolate. That's my, like, standard chocolate recipe because chocolate's the best. But if you wanted to do strawberry, I would do half whipped cream, half strawberries you know what i mean like okay. just blend the strawberries and add them in 
Um, so the more strawberries, the more strawberry it tastes. So I would go up to half. Okay. And ha berries ha are one carb per berry, so it's not going to be too carby for the whole thing. It yeah. just kind of depends on how carby you want to go. If you want a lighter taste, you can do that too. And then the vanilla, I was. Yeah. So so basically, when you're when you're starting it out the recipe, the best way to do it is to kind of do the the even number. Like so, for the strawberry, you want to do it half first. Yeah. And then find out if you want to do more or less, right? Yeah. Well, it just depends. So, like when I first started doing it, I was like, I was experimenting, trying to make a strawberry ice cream recipe, and I would be like, okay, I'm gonna put two strawberries in, three, four, like how low carby I could do it, you know, like yeah. for the whole thing. And then when I did Macy's birthday cake, I like went all out and I just did half. Okay. And half, and it came out really, really good, like super okay. flavorful. So, like, if you're just going for a super flavorful strawberry, you're gonna want like half and half. Okay. But if you want like a less carby choice, yeah. then you might just go a little lower. So, I mean, this looks like you could just eat it like this. Can you? Yeah, it's really yummy. Like. Okay, but it's better frozen, or it's kind of the same. It's yeah, it's definitely frozen. Okay. Is what. So, you how want. long are we putting it in the freezer for? Thirty minutes. Thirty minutes, and it's good to go. Mm -hmm. All right, well, here we go, 30 minutes, and then we get to enjoy some uh, ice cream. Yes. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Dun, my, da, da. my messy freezer. We're about to open up our baby cakes. Okay, hold on. How long has it been in there for? Five, eight minutes. Okay, does it have like any kind of thing that tells you it's done, or is it just like it just goes and you just have to watch it? I think you just have to watch it. Okay. Yeah. So okay. this, is, this is your first time using it, right? First time using it. So this is like, okay. I already cut it a little bit. Okay. Because it was like connected. So you can see they're kind of like, so, <clears throat> I don't know. This is kind of the donut that it made. I don't know how it tastes. I'm going to try it. Okay. Sebi's a good taste tester. So this is not. Hey, Sebi. Yeah. You want to come taste the donut? I mean, I might want to put something on it, no? Chocolate or something? I don't know. Um... Yeah, so this is what it looks like. Okay, is this what you were hoping for? Um, they're not as bulky as I did, and they're not gonna be as like fried, fried as like a fryer, okay. which obviously. But for but a it fast, still looks like a good snack. No, yeah, cause like it's it's really much harder to do it the other way. So okay. to me, this is donuts. They're gonna love it. So it's much better. Let's let's let him try one. Okay. The big dogs to test taster. Oh, it's hot. Ooh, it's hot. It's hot. hot. Yeah. Yeah. Let's put it, yeah, good idea, Macy. Yeah. Put it on here. Yeah. This is Give it away towels all the time. Okay, so Macy's got one. Let's cut that towel in half. Okay. Good idea. Okay. Let's not cut the towel in half. Okay, <laughs> Sebi, talk to me, buddy. Yeah, give, me, so give me the reaction here, dude. Set we the kinda... phone down real quick. Set my phone down. Okay. All right, big dog. Well, I'm going to let this, like, cool down. How old are you, Sebi? Seven. Seven. And mommy, do you I like feel mommy's like cooking? Cool down, yes. Okay? And so mommy can cook some really healthy <laughs> stuff, huh? Yeah. She found a way to make healthy stuff, delicious stuff too. Huh? Yeah. So how excited mm -hmm. are you about this donut? Really? Mommy. Okay. So this is without any frosting on it. So why don't you go ahead and give me a taste test and let me know what we're looking at here. That's pretty good. Pretty good? What's it taste like? I don't know. Does it taste like a donut? A little. A little bit? <laughs> Do you want to put some frosting on it and that mm. might help it? or? Mm. I like it how it is. You like it how it is? Mm -hmm. Well, that's awesome. Do you want it crispier or do you want it fluffier or what? Mm. Harold. I think I would want it fluffier. Okay. I'll we'll work on fluffier. Awesome. Mm. What do you think, Connor? It actually is like a little bit like a croissant. Oh, okay. It's kind of fluffy, actually. The the other ones I made were more dense, but still fluffy. Okay. I don't know if it's the frying, but it looks really like good. it would be fun if you stuck it on a stick and dipped it in mm -hmm. something. No, it definitely needs some kind of coating. Okay, but it's cool without it. Okay. Harold oh. wants one. Okay, so I just finished. Um, doing my second batch of donuts, and these ones I feel like are going to be a lot better. Um, I added a lot more chicharrone.
because I couldn't remember how I did them the first time and I had been doing a lot of pancakes and the pancakes are more like kind of what I initially showed you so these three are pancake and you can see they're flatter and these ones are chicharrones and I would even maybe add more chicharrone but I just didn't want to overdo it initially so these are getting dry so I better take them out quickly So these, they actually, you want donuts to be a little bit more dense because they're usually kind of thick inside and then they're um, crispy on the outside when you fry them. So I might, donut wise, I might fry fry them, you know what I mean? Um, whereas like, um, so that one came out kind of good. Um, Whereas the like donut holes and maybe like the muffins don't need, the, the muffins will probably do really well in this um, because they're just dry enough where you kind of want them dry like this. Um, so I'm going to give it a try. So we go ahead, this is the second batch. Mm. So this one should be more fluffy. Mm -hmm. I haven't put any um, icing or topping on top of it. How's that taste? Much better, huh? Yeah. Yeah, it just actually needed more chicharrones, more dense. Okay, so we're gonna do the donut holes. The kids are loving it, and I'm loving it. Oh my god, so good! So let's go. Okay, so kind of messily done, but I know they're gonna be delicious because the last ones were, and they keep eating them up within like seconds. So, as you can see, this is a little bit browner than my initial thing. So if you want it to be donut-y, you actually want it to be thicker. You want more chicharrone in there, chicharrone flour, which it sounds weird. You would think it'd be, I don't know, it denser, but it's more fluffy and it rises more. I don't know, because it's more, acts like a flour. And then if you want it more pancakey, depending on how cakey you want them, yeah, put more chicharrones and you'll have a more thick pancake, you know. But if you want like a thinner one or you don't have chicharrones, you can just do whipped cream and eggs and you basically got a batter for, that's not as thick as this, it won't be as thick as this, it won't be as cakey. So this makes it more of like a muffin or cakey consistency. Okay, so the last batch I'm going to make into muffins, which is actually our first time <coughs> doing muffins since Sebi got diagnosed. So we haven't um, done any kind of muffin-y thing. So I'm going to put the chocolate in there because I'm going to make them chocolate muffins, which I think will be delicious. Um, and let's see here. Just using a knife because that's what's next to me and I'm videoing. Basically I'm going to want to add like uh, two tablespoons. Okay, let's see how that goes. And just so you know, chocolate cocoa powder. Sorry, my kitchen's getting messier as I do this because I'm just doing a bunch of stuff. But um, chocolate cocoa powder is um, has electrolytes in it and so does peanut butter. So that's one thing on keto that I kind of, I'm like, I don't know, I want some chocolate or I want some cocoa. Um, this is probably make a decent brownie. Um, I'm going to try it in the, in the muffin thing and see if it needs more, more moisture. I'm guessing it would probably need some butter added to this if you were going to make it into a brownie. But this is more cakey. So, I'm just going to wipe down the edge. Add this stuff in, make sure it's fully incorporated. I'm 
This batter looks really good. I mean, and that that's kind of what you want. You want your batter to look right. So, I know most people cooking on keto, they use um, almond flour and different things like that, but I, I don't know. I don't like the way they come out, and they're higher carb. In a way, too high for Sebi, at least for our goals for him, you know. Just a little pro tip here if you have this machine or want to get it you can the plates line up with that and the button is here and here so it lines up just right sorry I just cooked which is nice if you have any kind of devices with plates it can be annoying um, and then only the red one has all three plates. It's like 40 bucks or so, so off of Amazon. So I'm going to do a chocolate batter, and this is going to make um, chocolate muffins. As you can see, the bottom is a muffin shape, and the top is kind of like a circular muffin top. So we're going to see how that goes. Okay, I'm just going to add a little bit of this chocolate hazelnut Nutella spread. Sorry, there's a cream on it. Um, just kind of see how it tastes with a little chocolate on top. I think I did this last time, it was really good. So, hmm. So, trying to see if I can get a focus on it. Anyways, wow, delicious. Really, really good. I'm making chocolate one right now, which I've never done. So, I think that'll be really amazing. Doing a little check on them. Ooh, they look perfect. Look at these, babe. I'm super excited about how these popped out of here. They're just kind of more what I pictured. So it took a couple tries to get it where I want it. Ooh, it's sliding. 